and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jolene. If you are new here, thank you so much for coming. If you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back. And you might be wondering what I have sitting next to me. It's been one week since I went to the Long Beach Antique Market and I love going. It's the third Sunday of every month. The Long Beach Antique Market is one of my favorite places to thrift. It's just so fun and it's just big enough that you can find a lot of good things and I always find something every time I go but it's not too big that it's just overwhelming and you just can't even get through the entire thing. So some tips that I might give if you've never been before is first you can sign up on their website to win a free pass and then you also can get a little discount coupon from their website which I do every time and you just go on the website and I just like screenshot it on my phone so I have the little proof of it and I show them and you get 50 cents off which isn't that much but when Ryan and I go it's a dollar off so might as well save a dollar where you can and another tip that I have is to bring cash with you. Some of the vendors there will take credit card, but most of them take cash and you tend to get a better deal when you have cash. Another reason for bringing cash, and if you have exact change, which it's $7 to get in, but with the 50% or 50 cent coupon, you get in for $6.50. So if it's just you, bring $6.50. And if it's you and your boyfriend, husband, friend, whatever, bring $13. I'm trying to do the math in my head. Bring $13 exactly in change. So I like to have like ones, fives, tens, and then whatever other bills you want to bring. But you can pretty much like skip the long line if you have exact change. Another tip is if you have like a rolling cart, which I got one one time at the Rose Bowl flea market. I think I got it for like $5. But if you can get like a rolling cart on Amazon, I'm sure they have them on there. I'll try to link some in the description. But those are super useful because when you get like a bunch of things, you don't want to have to carry it around the entire time and bags I feel like are just kind of a pain to have on your shoulder and then they just start hurting after a while so having a rolling cart or a wagon or something that you can put your stuff in is very helpful get there early it actually opens at like 5 30 in the morning I've never gotten there that early and it's $12 to get in if you want to go between 5 30 and 7 30 I think it is um, but I think getting there around 7 to 7.30 is ideal, even 8 or 9 if you're not an early riser. But getting there early is just prime because first off you get the first dibs on everything and then you're also not there when it's super hot. You can get in early, get out early. I just think that's super helpful because it does get pretty hot. It's on like a black top or like in a parking lot it gets very hot after a while around maybe 11 a.m. 12 and I got some good stuff I didn't get a ton of stuff because I like to go thrifting a lot so I usually am very picky and just get things that I absolutely love or need I don't always need everything but sometimes I want stuff I try to go with kind of an intention in mind of what I'm gonna get but sometimes I go and I'm just like let's just go and see what we can find but sometimes if you have that mentality you buy things that you don't really need so I kind of just went with an open mind this time I asked you on my Instagram story if you wanted to see a little haul of what I got and I got a ton of people that wanted to see it so here I am and filming it for you. Without further ado, let's just get into it because that is why you came here. So um, let's see, where should I start? Um, the first thing that I got, this is actually the first thing I saw when I was there and I always like getting little pots or just like decorative things. And I did have an idea in mind because I'm gonna be putting up a new shelf in our bedroom 
on this wall over here and I can show you what's there right now but I hate it so I'm putting a shelf and I wanted some like decorative things that could go on it so I really really loved this pot it is just like so neutral and pretty but it also has like this really pretty design on it there is no hole at the bottom but it's just like a pretty ceramic mug and this I ended up getting for it was like priced at $15 but I got it for $10 so another thing is to bargain I always ask for if they would take less and having cash is helpful because usually if you have cash they're more willing to take less so I got this for $10 and then I got this other little pot and it also does not have a hole at the bottom and it has these cute like little legs it's also a little ceramic pot and I just like the texture on it and the neutral tone and I think this one was listed for eight dollars I think I got it for six something like that six dollars I think and I think I'm gonna put these like on the shelf too next to each other I'm not sure if I'm gonna put a plant in them yet but I think they're super cute and I just felt like they really went very well together and would be cute in any space because they are so neutral. Another thing that I got was this one quart liquid jug and I just feel like you can't have enough of these which uh, you could put water in it, you could serve lemonade, I don't know, whatever you wanted to serve it in and I just think it's so cute. I like having these because I like to propagate plants and I'll put them in here with water so it's just like a cute little jug that I can have my plants in and I got this for five dollars and yeah I just thought it was a cute little uh, jug so got that I have two plants here this one looked a lot nicer when I first got it last week and now the leaves are starting to turn yellow so I'm thinking the soil looked pretty damp and wet when I got it so I'm thinking it might have root rot or it's just over watered I kind of think it's a fun little challenge because I'm probably going to try to take it out and then just maybe put it in new soil or I might clip some of the leaves off and propagate it in my new jar so yeah don't get discouraged if you get a plant that is starting to look sad after you get it but honestly I've never really had this happen when I've gone there and gotten plants I get plants every time I go because I'm obsessed with plants but yeah this is probably the first time that I actually had an issue with the plant dying but I got this one for seven dollars I believe and he was asking 12 for it first and so I bargained down to seven which was a good deal in my opinion because there was a much larger one that was more mature and he was asking 25 for it and I love like getting plants when they're smaller because they'll grow eventually and you get them for a cheaper price if that's what you're looking for but if you want one that's already mature and fully grown you could pay a little extra for it but I like trying to challenge my green thumb then I got this one and I'm planning on putting this one on the shelf that I'm gonna have in our room and I have zero idea what this is but I thought the leaves were like so cool and just so pretty and I've never really seen a plant like this before so I had to get it I think I got this one for eight dollars or ten eight or ten you also might be wondering what is this doing on top of the soil well, another challenge that I faced this time. This one had um, some gnats flying around when I got home and I have already had an issue with a gnat infestation in one of my plants in the soil and it was terrible. But one of my really good friends, she is like amazing at plants and she kind of taught me a lot of things that I now know. But if you do have a gnat infestation in one of your plants in the soil, you just want to put a bunch of cinnamon on top of the soil and like a pretty good layer actually. The gnats live and like to live in moist 
environments so the cinnamon dries everything out and they can't thrive or live in that type of type of environment i had that on there and i was just going to leave it on probably until the end of the weekend and then i will probably put it in a new pot there's this guy that's there and he sells pots for a very affordable price i've gotten pretty much all of the ones that i have from either the Rose Bowl antique market or Rose Bowl flea market or the Long Beach antique market and they have some awesome deals. And I'm going to put this plant in there. And I thought that looked really nice. So, yes, another neutral planter that I got and I think it will look good next to the other little pots that I got too cuz they're all like a neutral color, so I think that will look really nice. One last thing that I got and this was a little bit of a splurge item, but I love having like these Mexican blankets in the house. I use them for beach blankets. I use them in the house for blankets. I use them as throws on my bed. And this one I will be putting on our bed. And I just loved how like neutral and pretty it is. I'm like obsessed with neutral tones right now. So this one's like a pretty kind of Aztec print. Hopefully you can see it. I thought this one was super pretty and just like a really nice well-made blanket and I feel like I'm always like trying to be cozy and I love being in a blanket so I feel like I'll just be cozying up in this one all winter and I like the little like fringe that it has right here the detail is pretty so I thought this was an awesome find this one was a little expensive and I was just like so excited to get it that I did not bargain on this one and I now kind of wish that I would have at least asked to see if they would take less but this one was $75 which yes you might be thinking why would she pay $75 for a blanket but I just thought it was like a perfect piece to have so I decided to get it but I feel like I could have at least asked for less than that and they might have taken it so you never know always ask they don't care and if you get a no you're still in the same position that you were in before so those were all of the pieces and things that I got at the Long Beach Antique Market. Um, also, I'm wearing these denim Levi's that I got at the Long Beach Antique Market. Bleh. <laughs> I got these at the Long Beach Antique Market, I think, last summer. But I'll do a little mirror view so you can see because it's kind of hard to see right here and this is kind of an awkward view but here i'll show you what they look like and i got them i think for like 20 bucks i just feel like these fit so well and are like the perfect light blue denim shade that go with everything so yeah you can get some really awesome clothing pieces and just awesome finds at the flea market or even at a thrift store all right so thank you so much for watching and i really hope that you enjoyed this video i thought it was really fun to share all of the little treasures and goodies that i got if this is something that you liked seeing and you want to go thrifting with me or see more thrifting videos or other videos that maybe have to do with plants because i love plants let me know in the comments down below uh, what you liked, if you liked this video, if you didn't like this video, or anything else you'd want to see on my channel. So I just wanted to say thank you so much for coming and for supporting me, and it really does mean a lot to me. So I'd love it if you would subscribe to my channel and like the video, and a comment would be very much appreciated. I really hope you like this, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye!